Hey guys, we're at the creek. I'm just bike down here and ready to go. Now, I'm full of storage on my other phone that connects to my chest, so that will not be happening. I will have to film after I caught it. I know that sucks, but anyways, mostly today, I'm gonna be talking about some other stuff. I got some openings. This is just um, t time, to time to fill the video and we're just gonna go open up some lures and stuff at home after. So that's really the whole kind of point of this. But um, I'm also just, just looking to have some fun here. It's really hot outside today. So that's a bummer, but we're, we're gonna have some God, fun. I just caught a nice little chub on the fly here, my little hometown creek. Little chub there, little creek chub. Nice on the fly, got him right in the mouth. They're, they're pretty hard, tricky to hook because they're so small, but I did it with my trusty fly rod. I just got a new fly rod, by the way. Got a, got a nice creek set up for some nice creek. I gotta release this because I just caught it. And first, I like the recommendation, wet my hands. I need to do it more often. I, I'm just gonna do it right now. And I'm gonna hook this thing. But he's got a whole worm in his mouth. Guys, we just caught our second chub today. I got it. I know I'm just keeping the water, but guys, it's kind of hard here. Gotta let them go in the water a bit. See them there. I'm gonna wet my. Here we go. We're gonna release them now. Today I didn't video YouTube because you just I got a lot of film to edit anyway. So got this little guy. We're gonna put him back. Shake his head a bit. Got our third creek chub on the fly again. We're getting a lot on the fly, guys. Well, I'm pretty happy. I'm just kind of warming up here at the fly. It's a new rod. I'm getting better at it. Now, like I said, I'm not doing... Got him right in the mouth, too. That little thing. Got him right in the mouth. First shot, like, it was crazy. Crazy, guys. Crazy. This is our fourth chub on the fly. We're going to go release him, too. I'm gonna go whip my hands again, and we're gonna get him in the water there. Get him in the water there, and then just whip my hands, guys. Crazy. Right there, guys. See, I got him right in the lip again. I'm getting them all in the lip right nice. See, even on these little chubs, I'm getting a lot better at hooking these fish. You gotta wait down. You gotta wait for them to swim down with it and then you gotta let them take it in their mouth and then you hook them well guys it might be time to leave it's starting to rain pretty bad i'm starting to get soaked and it's actually gonna get it looks like it's getting worse i mean i'm already starting to get soaked so i think this might be it we'll see we'll throw a couple cats see if we get anything we literally just started so it's kind of like a shame hey guys we're here at it again and we're gonna be opening these lures old dutch fishing i love their lures this is i've used them several times they got good bass fishing lures for all you can get custom they're really good i really suggest you guys go check it out so we're gonna open up these right now We got, got some nice lures here, nice bass lures. Got water. And those are nice. Look at those colors. Magnet. Well, guys, that's it for fish for dinner for today. I'm really happy with it. I caught some creek chubs in the fly. A lot of fun. It was a hot day. That was the only thing. And it started to rain. But other than that, we had a good day. And I really like those lords that I got. I opened up those yesterday. They were really nice. I re they were hand-painted. Old Dutch lords. They're awesome. I really suggest you go look them up as well. And that's it for today. 
and see you next time. Remember, him and River um, Derby, I'm going to be posting that video Thursday, I think. And then there's going to be, as well, this weekend, I'm going to be going to Quiz Pam for Hook and Paddle. And that's an exciting event, too, that we're going to. That's going to be Pickerel Perch. So the two, so you can take Yellow Perch and White Perch and Pickerel. Those are the three species. And big shout out to the guy who lent us canoe too. I forget his name. But he he's lending us canoe to do this because we wouldn't have been able to do it without him. And I really appreciate that. That's that's some, that's someone right there who really wants to help someone. And I wish there were more people like that out in this world. Sadly there isn't. I try to help as many people as I can. I can only do so much. I don't really have I don't really have a canoe to lend someone, but if there's something like Oh, well, someone needs something to, I don't know, what lore to choose or something like that. I can help them with that. I don't have, I don't want money, I'm a kid. But something like that I can help with. And I try to help as many people as I can. And this guy, he was really nice. And I'm very surprised. Like, there's not many people who would do that. Especially, right, like, just doing that. Like, especially these days, like, not many people seem to care. Like, they just, they don't, it's like they don't want the next generation it, but they say they do. So, it's like, well, would you help them out? Well, not that much. It's like, well, then, how are you going to get it on to the next generation, guys? Like, things like that, that's what gets kids into it. Like, going out there and say you're a guide and you want to take a kid out. That's awesome, like, just doing that, like, even if you got, like, you have an opening and you want to just, like, do, like, a draw to take youth kid out, that's an awesome idea. People don't think of those things, though. They just want the money, I, I know. It's t sometimes times are hard, especially during COVID with money, but if you have an opening and you really do something, do a draw or something and give a kid a chance to do those things, because that's what gets them hooked. That's the thing. When they go out, and I went out when I was a kid, I never caught anything. Now I I was determined, but some kids aren't, and the only way they're going to get hooked on it is if they even catch one fish. That's the way to do it. Now, me, I didn't catch anything for a couple of times. I went out a zillion times and didn't catch anything. Finally, I caught one, and then I was, and I was already hooked when I didn't catch anything, which was kind of crazy. But anyways, that's it, and see you next time. Make sure you follow at fishwire underscore dinner for the draw. Oh, 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 oh,